this hard up stool I'm gonna show you is fantastic for modeling padding in space stations, you know, like kind of cushioning, etc. Like you see on these, you know, all these props that go to space or in movies. So check this out. Um, I'm gonna grab a cube and I'm going to create kind of like a chamfery corner here like this. And I'm gonna grab all these, um, these three elements here and insert them. So I twice, then RTM macro them, okay, like this. And then I'm going to run, let me just apply this. I'm going to run a control click on curve extract, which is going to extract them to this element. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to subdivide them. So I'm going to run an edge here, an edge, come on, an edge here, an edge here. And then I'm going to select everything and subdivide them a few times. Okay, let's say, I don't know, maybe that many. And now watch this, right? I'm going to go to Q menu and go to modifiers and cloth. And nothing happens, but if you want to press this play button, boom magic right and i got all kinds of interesting options like for example you can change the gravity you can hover over and just scroll your mouse and the gravity gonna pull these cushions down then you can uh, change the uh, you can shrink them uh, you can make them you know more puffy or less puffy you can also increase the pressure so you can you know type here a value like two for example right you're gonna be deflated or maybe a bit more pressure like maybe you know say 20 so right Gonna be more inflated so let's go with maybe like 10 all right or maybe i don't know seven whatever and then you can restart the because it's an animation actually so you can play it you can restart it you can rewind it and you can apply it so i'm gonna apply it and now you know this looks uh, um a bit uh this looks a bit uh, squarish and all that but what we can do is press ctrl 3 to subdivide it right click shade smooth and bob your ankle there you go you got padding in your model which is really really cool so that's the, like i said that's fantastic for creating you know all kinds of fluffy mats for your sci-fi and it just looks brilliant and all you need to do is click a few times and you're good to go well anyway that's it for the video, and if you want to learn more tricks about hard ups and box cutter, grab our course, The Ultimate Guide to Hard ups and Box Cutter, which will teach you everything you need to know about these add-ons, and this is the most up-to-date and complete source of knowledge on the whole internet on these two add-ons. The documentation is outdated, YouTube videos are fragmented, there's no way that you can find anything that comes even close in terms of how in-depth the content over there is. You got the, you know, the menu and tool section, you got the modeling section, rendering section, detailing section, you got also advanced section in which we're going to be going deeper into, you know, into all these menus here, which are absolutely crazy. But some of the stuff is really useful and not many people actually know what the hell is going on in these menus. The same with hard ups, all that is explained. So there's a lot to talk about. The entire Q menu is explained in different states because the Q menu changes based on which mode you're in. So, you know, people usually use like when you know one or two percent of hard ops, whereas these add-ons are incredibly versatile and there's a lot of interesting tools. And every time I post a video, it's like, oh shit, I didn't know you can do that. Well, you know, grab the course and you're gonna know everything. The course is called the Ultimate Guide to Hard Ops and Box Cutter 2.0. The link is in your video description and in a common pin under the video. It's one of our best selling courses ever. It's a second edition. People absolutely love it. So if you're interested in learning these add-ons and mastering them, that's the best way to do it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.